This year, across the globe, one man has been celebrated. A man who inspired us with his passion to provide food for all people and to end the scourge of hunger. This year, we have celebrated Dr. Norman Borlaug, Nobel Peace Prize laureate, father of the Green Revolution, and founder of the World Food Prize. Tonight, as we gather at the World Food Prize he created, during the UN's International Year of Family Farming, we look back at the worldwide celebrations that have honored him. And we look forward to how we will carry on his legacy. One year ago, the World Food Prize launched the Borlaug Centennial Year Celebration, recognizing the pioneers of biotechnology. Since then, dignitaries have honored Dr. Borlaug at major events and conferences around the world, at institutions ranging from the M.S. Swaminathan Research Foundation to the United Nations and the U.S. Africa Summit. When you talk about food security, it doesn't take very long to have the name Norman Borlaug come up. Uh, Norman would have been 100 years old this year. And he dedicated his entire life and career to feeding the world's hungry. The week of March 25th, which would have been Dr. Borlaug's 100th birthday, was the high point of the year. With Dr. Borlaug celebrated at his Simit Research Center in Mexico and in the U.S. Capitol, where the state of Iowa installed his statue in National Statuary Hall among the country's greatest heroes. This is a great day. It's a great day for Iowa, but it's a great day for America. Iowans are proud to have Dr. Borlaug represent them as he embodied so many of the characteristics that Iowans cherish, like hard work, compassion, and service to others. But Norm felt the responsibility to make sure that those below saw the same vision he saw of a world without hunger, of a world of peace. So it is extraordinarily fitting on this agricultural day, on the 100th birthday of this great man, that we are here today. I love Norm. And here he is, the most hallowed place of our democracy, a monument to his achievements, to our country's great achievements, and as the inspiration to all the future generations. That same day, Dr. Borlaug's passion for inspiring the next generation was honored through a USDA Borlaug Symposium for Youth. My grandfather was many things, a warrior against hunger, a scientist, but first and foremost, I think he liked the title of teacher and mentor. And at the World Food Prize Hall of Laureates, Dr. Borlaug was remembered through service, education, and cultural programs. Throughout the week in Mexico, Dr. Borlaug was celebrated with festivities and conferences at the Simit Research Center. The Borlaug family has been a part of several celebrations and initiatives this year, encouraging those carrying Dr. Borlaug's work forward. My father was recognized for his profound impact on humanity through his fight against hunger and poverty. He was tenacious in his focus, bold in his ambition, and tireless in his pursuit. Ambassador Quinn has also traveled the globe from Argentina to Uganda and beyond to spread Dr. Borlaug's inspiration, including at a ceremony in Iran where his message about Dr. Borlaug's legacy elicited a standing ovation. Later this month, he will also accept FFA's highest honor on Dr. Borlaug's behalf. Dr. Borlaug's impact is still felt profoundly today in many parts of the world. Now, what are we celebrating? And the message is, take it to the farmer. No, my people, the, the hero! The hero! The hero! The hero! But he also succeeded in planting the seeds of confidence into their hearts. Here in the state where it all began, it is most fitting that the Borlaug Centennial Year culminates on October 16th, which is UN World Food Day around the globe, and Norman Borlaug World Food Prize Day in America and Iowa. 
As we honor the 2014 World Food Prize laureate, Dr. Sanjaya Rajaram, the person who has done more than anyone else to carry forward the work and legacy of Dr. Borlaug, we look ahead to the next 100 years and the greatest challenge in human history. Will we be able to feed our burgeoning population of more than 9 billion people by the year 2050? With Norman Borlaug's inspiration, we can.